Hello, smartest artists. It is me, Miss Puckett, here with another art lesson for you. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you today, but I hope you enjoy this lesson. It's a little bit funky compared to normal. Now, remember the landscapes we did earlier in the year? Way back. Way, way back. We are doing another landscape. So remember those parts of the landscape as you are working and your masterpiece will come out wonderfully. If you'd like to share, please don't forget to share it with me. I would love to see your masterpiece and I hope you enjoy. First step, use a pencil to draw a horizon line. Then add something really big in the foreground, like I drew a tree. In the way back, add something drawn small. I did mountains. Guidelines guide our eyes from front to back, so I drew a river big up close and teeny tiny far away. Next, add something that changes size. I made flowers big, medium, small. Add some finishing details and you'll be ready to color. All right, so we're not coloring this one in the normal way. Instead of using a marker to color it in solid, like color in the sky completely blue, we're actually gonna be using some words in order to color in our pictures today. So for example, when I'm coloring in my sky, I'm using the word sky and writing the word sky in order to fill in all of the space. You can pick other words too that remind you of what a sky is. If it's a stormy sky, you could write stormy or clouds or snow or blue or gray and use the color words for it. So whatever words you'd like to use, you can use it in your picture. You wanna fill up all the white space you can by writing the words over and over and over and filling up your space. Changing up the size of your letters and your words adds some fun variety to your picture. So when I'm writing mountain, because mountains are big, I'm gonna stretch my letters really big to fill up my whole mountain. You might be getting tired by now, and that's okay. Artists like to take breaks in order to stretch their bodies, shake out their hands, and get ready to get back to it. Make sure you fill up all the white space you can to make a perfect picture. To see how your artwork is coming along, ask someone to hold your picture up and then take a few steps away from it to see it from a new perspective. What areas do you need to add more words to? What areas look okay? Go back to it and make any edits you need to. Hey voila, a masterpiece. Don't forget to share your artwork with me. I would love to see anything you make during our break. You can have your parents email me pictures, or you can take a picture yourself, upload it to Google Drive, and share it with me. Can't wait to see all your fabulous artwork. 